First off, I'm excited to be here. Um, it's an awesome experience, once in a lifetime experience playing first ever NFL game here in Brazil. So uh, that's awesome. Um, it's been nothing but love since we got here. Uh, fans were at the airport last night, they're at the hotel. So uh, definitely a lot of love and I'm excited to see what the atmosphere is like in the stadium tomorrow uh, for the game. I know it's gonna be uh, rocking. So I'm very excited. I'm glad to hear that the, the uh, Brazilians are all ready to be Packer fans now, so we're converting everybody, but I'm excited. It's, it's nothing but love since we've been here. Hey, Jordan. Just the, the whole atmosphere obviously is a big thing, but obviously still obviously an important game too with the Eagles. Just how, how have you guys felt about just the preparation of this and just the comfort level just getting here and kind of getting into your process? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a lot different than, um, you know, a regular routine of a, a game week, so uh, just trying to you know, handle the unexpected, the, you know, there's a lot of uncontrollable things that you can't really control. Um, so just trying to keep the main thing the main thing. You know, we're nowhere here for a, a game and it's a, it's a business trip. So um, just trying to stay focused and uh, handle all the, the new things going on. Jordan, Gabriel here from the playoffs. About your, your self-improvement last season and playoffs, I would like to, to know some lesson that Aaron Rodgers taught to you and what do you learn from him and so say some some experience that you have to use the the lesson that he gave to you. Yeah, no, I mean my whole three years behind Aaron, uh, watching him work and just um, the way he competes and gets ready to go play a game, and um, obviously back to back MVP when I was behind him. So um, I got to see a lot of great things. So. Uh, the biggest lesson for sure for me was just seeing how consistent he was as a player. Um, you know, I try and implement that in my game. Um, you know, going from last year, building on that and just trying to be consistent every day, be the best version of myself every day. Um, and that's probably the biggest lesson I saw from him. Hi, over here. Uh, I want to know, are you aware how big is this, is this game? Not only for Brazil, I mean for Latin America. There are fans from the countries nearby, Chile, Uruguay, a lot of focus on here and how that uh, maybe distract you uh, from the important football considering even there's a halftime show like a m mini Super Bowl yeah no I think like I said before it's an awesome uh, awesome you know opportunity to play the first first ever NFL game here so um, you know I know there's a lot of fans over here in South America so um, it's awesome to be able to bring that be, be live here in front of you guys so um, I'm very excited but like you like you guys said I mean we, we said it the other day this is the, the Brazilian Super Bowl here, so um, we're going to make it a, a great game for you guys. Hi, Jordan here, Victor from San Oval. You are on, on the greatest fr franchises of the NFL, and this franchise has like legendary quarterbacks, Favre, Aaron Rodgers. Everybody believes that you can be one of these legendary quarterbacks. What is your game your, to step up this season uh, to be one of these guys starting tomorrow here in Brazil? Yeah, I mean, for that, I really just try and focus on me and uh, being the best best player I can be every day, the best quarterback for the team, and, uh, you know, kind of let the rest handle itself. You know, I know uh, I'm in a great organization who's had uh, tons of great years of quarterback play um, with some really great quarterbacks. So um, I'm, I'm definitely blessed to be, uh, you know, one of those guys the next in line and just try and focus on, uh, like I said, being the best version of myself every day and go out there tomorrow and put my best foot forward. Jordan, it's been a wild 365 or so days since you started in Chicago last year. How does the feeling heading into this opener compare and contrast to what you felt ahead of last season? Yeah, it's uh, a little bit different. Um, you know, having, you know, last year, a whole year of experience under my belt, whereas, you know, I didn't really have that going into Chicago the year before. So uh, I always say there was just a lot of unknowns uh, going into Chicago and, um, you know, for me, I was just really excited to be able to go out there and prove who I am as a player and what I can be about and get that season started. So um, it was an awesome feeling. But, you know, this year we're, you know, we're dialed in. We're, we, we know what we're about. We know what kind of team we have. And, uh, you know, the expectations are definitely a little bit higher. So um, we're ready to get it started uh, tomorrow. Hi, Jordan. I am Guilherme from Fanaticals Football Brazil. I want to ask you, uh, how was for you to deal with the pressure of being the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers because, I mean, it's a great franchise. Uh, Aaron Rodgers left and then came you, a first round pick. Uh, and you're playing against the first round pick, uh, second round picks, uh, Julian, Hurt, Julian Hurts. So how it was for you, man? Uh, like, it's like uh, get thrown in the, the Lions then. So I uh, just want to ask you this, and you had a coat. Uh, I'm second, can you, play, can you explain that, that coat? 
Yeah, so uh, first off, I mean, uh, yeah, there's definitely pressure. There's always pressure. Um, I always say just being an NFL starting quarterback, there's pressure. Uh, being an NFL player in general, there's pressure. Um, you know, you, it's a performance-based business, so you got to be able to go out there and put your best foot forward every day and, uh, you know, be, like I said before, be the best version of yourself. So I just try and focus on that and um, kind of block out all the extra noise, anything else that might, you know, uh, just – not be needed in my head, you know, to kind of focus on what I need to do. So um, just, I mean, that's part of the job that we get paid to do is be able to handle all that pressure and, and go out there and perform regardless of the circumstances. So, uh, yeah, and then the I am second, you know, I'm definitely a firm believer. Um, you know, I'm second. I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian in faith, and, uh, you know, I wear those bracelets just to remind me, um, you know, God is first and be able to put him first in all those situations. Jordan, with all that said, this is a different week. I mean, it might be like any other game, but it's not like any other week. I'm curious how you're balancing the two realities between wanting to soak up this experience and enjoy this experience, but also there's a game you got to go play and be prepared for with some different kind of obstacles. How, how are you balancing that this week? Yeah, just taking it and rolling with it. Um, like I said before, there's so much unknown, and, I mean, there's a long travel, um, you know, just getting here and, uh, you know, trying to figure out what, what the stadium's like, what the field's like, things that we just, you know, haven't we haven't been over the stadium yet, so we haven't even seen. So um, I think at the back of your head, just knowing that um, you just got to focus on the game and uh, try and make it like another week and kind of block out all the distractions and uh, kind of all the extra stuff that is out of your control. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, this, this locker room, everyone knows that we're here for a business trip. We're here to play a game. Let's get the season started off. So uh, we're very excited to do that. But uh, at the same time, yeah, just trying to balance those uh, distractions. Fernando Medeiros from El Observador and Chis Chat from Uruguay. Uh, well, nice to meet you, Jordan. The question is, has, has two parts. First of all, how, how uh, proud are you to be playing in an uh, environment that is going to be like a home game? So I'm just excited. I'm excited to see it all and uh, just embrace this opportunity and playing in a new uh, environment for us. So it'll be a lot different for us, um, but I'm excited. And then, yeah, I mean, that's, it comes with the territory, that second question. Um, you know, just understanding uh, the team I'm on and the guys that came before me. And, uh, you know, I just got a lot of respect for those guys and, and obviously the careers they've had. So. Um, and then, I mean, the Packers is all about tradition and the, you know, the legacy. So just trying to uphold that and respect it and, and, and be the next one to, to fall in line. But just trying to put my best foot forward, like I said. But uh, I got a lot of respect and love for all those guys that came before me. Jordan, nice to meet you. Gustavo from Red TV. Uh, could you tell something about, could you, say, could you tell something about your chemistry with uh, Christian Watson on the field, please? Yeah, no, me and Christian have a uh, great chemistry. I think since Christian got here, um, you know, we got a lot of reps together because uh, his first year, you know, I was taking most uh, OTA starting reps uh, when Aaron wasn't there. So, um, you know, I was able to build a lot of chemistry with me, uh, Christian and Rome, uh, both those guys. So uh, it's no secret that, you know, when we got on the field, we were going to connect and our chemistry is going to keep building and keep growing. But, um, you know, going on, I think, like year three with those guys. So. Um, just continue to grow. Those are my brothers. Uh, Christian's my bro, and I, I got a lot of love for him. And uh, uh, just our connection on the field has definitely grown uh, a huge amount. Jordan, Luis from Casa TV. First of all, great talking to you. You said there is a lot of love in Brazil a little bit more now that you're here. Uh, you've been to Brazil. You got here. Feeling great. This is our weather during the winter. Can we expect you coming back in the off season? maybe, getting a vacation time, coming to Brazil once again? I hope so. I mean, we didn't get a really get the full experience of Brazil here on this uh, game trip, so I'll definitely have to make another trip here in the summertime when you guys get it going. Yeah, I'll hit you guys. I'll have some more connections here, so for sure. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Jordan, you, you have the change from Aaron Jones to, to Josh Jacobs. Obviously, that's a big, a big running style change. Do you feel ready to, to share the backfield with Jacobs, and what's your expectation for him this season? Definitely, we're very ready. Um, you know, Josh has been working so hard since he, he's got here. Um, and we all know what kind of player he is, um, the career he's had so far. So um, just to be able to be around him and see what type of worker he is, uh, what type of leader he is in the locker room. And, um, you know, I'm very excited. I know he's going to have a huge impact for the team this year. And uh, excited to be able to hand him the ball and watch him, watch him go to work.